be advised. If the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning, Philippines. You are watching the Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. Coming to you live on Channel 8 via Destiny Cable and, via, and Channel 1 via GSAT. Good morning. I am your host, Rowena Suarez. You can call me Ro for short. Our segment, Investment Academy, talks about the different ways to increase investment capacity, financial literacy, and awareness. Investment Academy will show Filipinos not only how to make money, but also how to create wealth. A uh, wet uh, and dreary Sunday, uh, Wednesday morning to all of you, our dear viewers. Um, let's start the show with our Just Ask Crow portion. Um, we, have a, we have a message from Cyrus with ending number 2315 from Bulacan. Good PM, I want to have extra income with little capital. Can I get the number of Frank Provo? I want to study hair cutting and makeup. Okay, um, Cyrus, you can call 895-3401 and for franchising inquiries, you can text BG, uh, you can email bggaboro at frankprovo.com.ph. So, I hope you kept that number. And another message from Baguio, Carlos, and with ending number 7124. I want to go to Manila after I graduate next year. What business and work can I do? I like cars. Should I start business right away or work first? Okay, Carlos, um, I think uh, if you are asking me, um, I think you should have, you should work first. I mean, work in a field that you are really interested in to gain experience because, you know, it's not really easy getting into business right away when you don't have any experience. So if I were you, go at least two years first and go look for a job and see coming from Baguio and then if you say you're going to Manila then you also have to to know the culture and the experience of working in Manila and uh, having a business you also need um, connections and cloud so it would be good to get to know a lot of people first here in Manila before you can start the business for questions you may get in touch with us through 0917 Eight six two seven five seven six. That's zero nine one seven eight six. Ask row, and you can email at justaskrow at gmail dot com and follow me at Twitter justaskrow. You can also view the show on YouTube, Investment Academy by Rowena Suarez. Welcome to the month of June, our dear viewers. School is just starting again, and parents with children in preschool, grade school, high school, and college send their kids off to their academic learning. But just because you send your kids to school doesn't mean you don't need to educate them at home. Kids don't only need to be literate, it is important to educate them in the financial literacy even at a young age. In fact, today we have um, a husband and wife team, Marvin and Mary Rose Fausto, a couple who've educated their two boys, Martin and Enrique, and Enrique on investments and savings. Thank you for being with us today, Marvin. Thank you, Ro Hi. Mary Rose. Hi. How are you? Okay, okay. So Good a morning. brief... Yeah, just a clarification, just a correction. We have three boys, actually. Oh, three <laughs> boys, three boys. But it's he's just that since it's the first day of school of Anton, today yeah. he wasn't able to join us. So you have Martin, Martin Enrique, Enrique, and, and Anton. Anton. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we'll miss Anton today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a brief history of your work and background. Let's start. Ladies first. Oh, well, um, I started in 1985 as a credit analyst at Far East Bank. And mm -hmm. that's where I met Marvin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. And then and then after that, I also went into investment banking when the investment house of Paris Bank was established. I was one of the uh, first employees there. And all Asia Capital. And then after that, there was a, I had a 10-month uh, hiatus. I tried to be a housewife. Mm -hmm. and you then, tried? Yeah, <laughs> I tried the first time around. And then... Um, after 10 months, I, I had this uh, USAID project where I was a financial consultant uh -huh. and it lasted for five years. And then after that, back to being a full-time homemaker. And <laughs> then your 
your boys you had your boys already yes. yeah and now uh i i i just came up with my my book yeah yeah which is about raising boys but i think i we have to go back to marvin's background <laughs> yeah yeah marvin <laughs> is uh you're a banker yeah yeah since 1983 I uh, see. that's i also started as an analyst uh, that's where we met mm -hmm. for about five years and then after that i i got into the the field of investments mm -hmm. where i became a trust officer and now i'm still a uh, head of investments of uh, Banco de Oro. I see. So that, that's where I'm in charge of the investments of uh, the funds that we manage, both uh, retail and corporate. So be, both of you being in the finance, so is it natural for you to, to, <laughs> to educate and um, uh, educate your boys into saving? Yes. Yes, yes, it's it's very natural actually. It's yeah. like they were born into yeah. that. Yeah, kind we of talk culture. about it over dinner, over mm -hmm. merienda, <laughs> because we talk about uh, everything under the sun, and of course that's the part of what we talk about are mm -hmm. the things that we do, which mm -hmm. is basically investments and savings, mm -hmm. so that our children hear about it, and that's what how they were exposed. Because mm -hmm. you know, like now in the Philippines, um, I don't think that um, I'm very very minimal. Um, to really teach their children how to save. Yeah. Because uh, the, the culture actually of Filipinos is just, you know, you earn money, spend you spend it. it. Yes. Diba? And, and then the, and after that, parang, okay, then you work again. Mm -hmm. And then you spend it. So, and that's not really creating wealth. Yes, Re it's, not. it's not. It's just making money and you, s you, you spend it. So, not really creating wealth. So, um, it's good that you've uh, you've taught your, your 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 children that, and I hope our viewers will be inspired also on teaching their children how to how to save. No, so your um, your um, and when did they start? Like grade school, palang you've already taught them how to save. I'm sure with being in the bank, pina save na siya, they, you opened an account yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ever since they were born. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. When they were born, shortly after they were born, we would open a savings account for each of our three boys. Yeah. And that's where we, we would put their uh, cash gifts from mm -hmm. baptism, Christmas, birthdays. And then as it grew, and as they also grew when they entered grade one, mm -hmm. we started them with their weekly allowance. Mm -hmm. And that's where they became actively involved in their saving and investment. So the boys have their allowance, and then, but they don't really... Spend everything. Yes, yes. Uh, did, um, did you get any resistance from them? No. Na, because na no, what? Me, but all my friends are, 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 are buying these things. How can I uh, not buy that in the canteen? You know? Maybe because we started, as he said, at birth. Yeah. So it was like being born into this kind of culture. So um, there was no other way of doing something. It wasn't something like uh, we were doing it this way and then... Um, well, on day one, change. we will change, and now we will save. It wasn't like that. It has always been there, so there's really no resistance. Mm. I guess you have to start it with the rule. Uh -huh. uh, if you start off with the rule, these are the rules. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. you have to this your allowance, and then you have to save like 20% of that allowance. Yeah. Those those are the rules. So children, a man, they they follow rules. They like rules. Eh? They follow yeah. rules. So so. It, at the start already, they know that's how it's going to be done. And w was this carried on from, let's say, your parents also taught you how to save, and yeah. now you're teaching your yeah. children how yeah. to save? Yeah, yeah. both of our, our, we were, our backgrounds, my, my mother used to be a banker, also a rural bank, mm. and, and she's an Ilocana. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> yeah. And both of us were kind of uh, exposed to that kind of uh, savings and and investment environment. Mm -mm. So from the start, we were saving already. Even when we were still single, mm -mm. we were already saving on our own. And then mm -hmm. when we became a couple, a couple <laughs> <laughs> you had your we, we put it together. And then she started uh, uh, putting on the records and mm -mm. everything that has to be monitored. Mm -mm. So when you got married, you put your savings together. But did you still keep like? No. Not, no, so everything is. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I think it has to be done that way. Yeah. Uh, at least for well, our. Yeah. It, works, yeah, 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 it, it works for us. Short, it works for us. Does it work well for you? Yeah, because it's not going to be good if it's both of you. Eh. Yeah. 
Siya rin. So, in terms mm. of shopping, di ba? <laughs> Siyempre, you need that, di ba? Uh. Women. So, your entrepreneurial experiences, do you have, I mean, you had your fast food business. Well, I tried when when I stopped, uh, when I first resigned and uh, said goodbye to the corporate world, I also tried. But mm -mm. I realized that it wasn't my cup of tea. So, mm -hmm. so now I would say that I'm back to investing. My, I'm, I handle my own portfolio also. I see. I don't know if you remember the message that was sent to us, diba? He's Carlos from Baguio and, and uh, yeah, he, yeah. Um, he yeah, wants he to start asking, a business. Yes. And he, but he doesn't know if he's going to work or start a business. What would you advise for him? I'm sure he's like at age of your <laughs> son, no? Kakagad, yeah, bagagad, wait lang siya. It actually depends. I don't mm -hmm. know if he already started something. Wala pa. Um, I, I so kung think wala pa, um, maybe he has to have a regular cash flow. Yes. Because that's what I tell the boys. Eh. Once you're done with your studies, you will be cut from your allowance. So you will have to find work. And then um, if he still thinks that business is what is really for him, mm -mm. he can set aside already something from his... Uh, regular income to start mm. up something. And don't get married yet, Carlos. Kasi, <laughs> <laughs> and that's another expense, yeah, diba? That's a, that's no, a big expense. That's a big expense. But you know, expense. marriage marriage helps you put everything in order, ha? Yeah, diba? pero what if they have either. a baby right away? Ayun, then. Ayun, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. mag-ipon muna siya. And then, tama, um, but like uh, Mrs. Fausto said, um, set aside money from your regular 9-to-5 yeah. job. Capital. That's your seed capital. Yeah. You have to niya find out kung ano kasi yung core competence mo. What's your name? Carlos. Carlos. Yeah, eh. yeah. Para pasukin mo yung get into something that you're really um, interested in, where you're very good at, so that it's not just the money that will keep you motivated. And when you're motivated beyond money, that's when you will do very, very well in whatever you do. And he likes cars, he hmm. said. So maybe there are a lot of businesses. About yeah, there's cars. A, now there are cars pa, buy and sell of cars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mga talier, I yes. don't know the mga diba? So there's a lot of businesses. So he, that's why diba, we said that I think make have a nine to five job first uh -huh. to experience and especially coming from from the, the province. province. Yeah, you Baguio. were right when you said that he has to adapt uh, to the Manila way of the life. Manila way of life. It has to be something that he loves to do eh. mm -hmm. uh, in anything that you do. Um, it has to start with, with yourself. Eh, you, you like to do it because if it's only for the money, mm -hmm. and then if it's, it doesn't work, no, the money is not there anymore. Then you, it's not going to succeed. But Which if always you love, happens, yeah. but it doesn't work right away. There's no cash right away. But if you money. love doing it, you enjoy doing it. Even there is no money, you still enjoy doing it. Parang marriage. Still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Parang marriage, <laughs> di ba? I mean, oh, you, you have, you you really, that's why you really yes, have to you marry, have to marry someone, someone that you, you really love. love. <laughs> <laughs> Para day in, day out, when oh, times you go bad, you're oh. still there, di ba? Oh, even so, so when the, the boys are on a date and they, they, the children are out, so you'll enjoy each other's company. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, We're there already, <laughs> yeah. they're so big now. Yeah. <laughs> So, so th you said there was no problem encouraging the boys mm -hmm. to save. To what are their um, typical investment aside from? I'm sure. I'm sure you have. They have their bank account. Yeah. Are there other forms of investments yeah. that they? Well, they probably it's nice for them to discuss it themselves. Mm -hmm. But just to give you a yeah, preview, just give you an idea. yes, they have fixed investment, um, uh, fixed income investments, and they are also right now actually they're heavily into stock investments because they know that they're still very young, so their holding period is really, really a lot longer than mm -hmm, our true. holding period. Yes, yes, so yes. they can manage the day-to-day -day fluctuation of the prices of the stocks that they hold in the stock market. Mm, and they're not scared, eh. they're not scared of doing that eh, because, because nah, they live with us. Eh. <laughs> they, 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 they are dependent, they so, still, still. so they can risk more <coughs> yeah, saka, I think they have that confidence na oh my parents are bankers they know what they're doing I'll just follow what they <laughs> tell me <laughs> <laughs> no, by, by example na rin, yeah. the way when the way we live our live our lives and the way we manage our money mm -hmm. uh, that is the influence that, mm. that they get and then the the examples that we mm. show them it has to be sustainable uh, um, it doesn't have to be something like ipon ka ng ipon na kawawa ka naman. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It shouldn't be like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You should.